In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Today we commemorate the memorial of St. Agatha, Virgin and Martyr. And to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. I confess. I God, confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and, and sisters, sisters, that I have seen deeply seen in my thoughts in and my in my words, in what I have done, in, and in what, what I, I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. May the Virgin Martyr Saint Agatha implore your compassion for us, O Lord, we pray, for, the, for she found favor with you. May the courage of her martyrdom and the merit of her chastity, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first book of Kings. The elders of Israel and all the leaders of the tribes, the princes in the ancestral houses of the children of Israel, came to King Solomon in Jerusalem to bring up the Ark of the Lord's Covenant from the city of David, which is Zion. All the people of Israel assembled before King Solomon during the festival in the month of Etanim, the seventh month. When all the elders of Israel had arrived, the priests took up the ark. They carried the ark of the Lord and the meeting tent with all the sacred vessels that were in the tent. The priests and Levites carried them. King Solomon and the entire community of Israel, present for the occasion, sacrificed before the ark sheep and oxen, too many to number or count. The priests brought the ark of the covenant of the Lord to its place beneath the wings of the cherubim, in the sanctuary, the Holy of Holies of the temple. The cherubim had their wings spread out over the place of the ark, sheltering the ark and its poles from above. There was nothing in the ark but the two stone tablets which Moses had put there at Horeb. When the Lord made a covenant with the children of Israel at their departure from the land of Egypt, when the priests left the holy place, the cloud filled the temple of the Lord so that the priests could no longer minister because of the cloud, since the Lord's glory had filled the temple of the Lord. Then Solomon said, The Lord intends to dwell in the dark cloud. I have truly built you a priestly house, a dwelling where you may abide forever. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. 
Lord, go up to the place of your rest. Lord, go up to the place of your rest. Behold, we heard of it in Eperta. We found it in the fields of Jar. Let us enter into his dwelling. Let us worship at his footstool. Lord, go up to the place of your rest. Advance, O Lord, to your resting place, you and the ark of your majesty. May your priests be clothed with justice. Let your faithful ones shout merrily for joy. For the sake of David, your servant, reject not the flea of your anointed. Lord, go up to the place of your rest. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. After making the crossing to the other side of the sea, Jesus and his disciples came to land at Genazareth and tied up there. As they were leaving the boat, people immediately recognized him. They scurred about the surrounding country and began to bring in the sick on mats to whatever they heard he was. Whatever villages or towns or countries side he entered, they laid the sick in the marketplaces and begged him that they might touch only the tassel on his cloak, and as many as touched it were healed. My sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good afternoon po sa inyong lahat. The practice of having a sacred place and sacred space at home to remind us of the presence of a superior force in our midst is actually present in the Christian tradition and in most cultures. The people of Israel practice it too. In today's gospel, many brothers and sisters, people flocked to Jesus. His presence must have been perceived a blessing. We are no different from those villagers. We do need Christ's presence in our lives today. Where He is, we must gather. But as we gather around Him, we demonstrate it or demonstrate our faith so we can enjoy the abundance of His grace. Enjoying His blessings, we thank Him for His goodness and we often offer a very special place to the Lord where we can continuously interconnect with Him. His presence 
bring healing to our physical, emotional, psychological, and spiritual infirmities. Where to find God's presence is not difficult if we seek Him. He Himself will approach us. He reaches out to us, especially in our miserable condition. The question is, are we mindful enough to recognize and welcome His presence? Are we ready to be amazed by His immense love? Are we comfortable to have an intimate relationship with Jesus? My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus is more than accessible and available. Whoever approach Him in faith does not go home frustrated. As experienced by the village, by the village He visited. And even in our own personal experience, we can attest the moment we approached him, we are unlept, unaided, but receive blessing, healing, and love. This is true in the saint that we honor today, Saint Agatha. She believed that the presence of God rule and control her life. That is why, until the end, she gave it for the greater glory of God. We have to believe that God is in and with us. And let us allow Him to be amazed by His presence. And He can cure whatever illnesses and diseases that cripple us to live a healthy life life. Please stand. Let us pray to the Father who wants everyone to be healed. He does not reject those who come to Him in need. Divine Healer, be merciful to all. Divine Healer, be merciful to all, that as a church, we may not close our hearts to the needs of others, but share God's love with everyone. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Healer, be merciful to all, that we may all work for justice and human dignity, especially for those who are left out by society, including the weak and the poor. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Healer, be merciful to all that we as a community may support and uplift one another with the love and gentleness which the Lord has shown us. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Healer, be merciful to all that those who are sick in mind, body, and spirit may find complete healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Healer, be merciful to all that the faithful departed may have eternal rest. Let us pray to the Lord. Divine Healer, be merciful to all. Almighty Father, hear our prayers and make our hearts ready to welcome and love our needy brothers and sisters in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Please stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the offerings we bring in celebration of blessed Saint Agatha win your gracious acceptance, O Lord, we pray, just as the struggle of her suffering and passion was pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the blood of your blessed martyr, Saint Agatha, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, the skips we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep into the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Agatha, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life 
and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Friends, this is Jesus, our Savior, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to receive him. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. The body of Christ. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. O God, who bestowed on blessed Saint Agatha a crown among the saints for her twofold triumph of virginity and martyrdom, grant, we pray, through the power of this sacrament that bravely overcoming every evil, we may attain the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Thank you.